What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the seasonal ritual to where I talk about what I will and will not watch for the upcoming anime season. And so, I'm going to quickly say real quick before I dive into this video, some of the titles, if I say I will watch or will not watch, sometimes that can change depending on what you Cheebits say in the comments. Like, for instance, if I say I want to pass over a certain said series, Usually, depending on what you achieve it, say in the comments, might persuade me to give that series a chance and probably try to give it a shot. Now, I haven't really looked at this seasonal anime charts, like I haven't seen it at all, and I've only know of a couple of titles that are going to be coming out, of course, because I've been hearing about them for the past couple months, but this is actually my first time looking at any chart to see what will really be coming out, what I'm going to be reviewing the next season. And so, yeah, I mean, if you have yet to see any chart and you want to see what's kind of coming out, well, enjoy the ride because we're both going to be seeing what's coming out together. So I'm going to be starting with the top and then working my way down to the bottom. For instance, top, starting from the left, working to the right, and then back to the left, to the right again. That's the titles I'm going to be going through. So first things right off the bat, I want to say if there is like, let's say, series are on season two, season three, or four, and I haven't seen the previous season, usually I'm not going to review that unless I really must just dive in and watch that series just to catch up. That's only the time when I really try to catch up to a series. And so this series right here, I, I, I Katsu, I think that's what you said, I Katsu 4, I'm probably not going to be reviewing that because I haven't seen the previous three seasons and it might not be for me. Um, hmm, Brave Beats. The story follows he became a sixth grader who meets an amusing life. I don't know... He's been deprived of dancing stones to stones of dancing around and sent to a human world to restore his power. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what? I'll, I'll just check out the first episode to see. Um, second season of Card Fight. Nah, I can't watch that. Haven't seen the first season. Let's see. Comet Looser. Ooh, by 8-Bit Studios. Let's see. The story takes place on the planet Gift, where precious crystals called Giftajun are buried in the earth. A young man named Sogo lives in Garden Indigo, a prosperous mining town. So it's like, judging by the cover, it's going to have sci-fi elements. It doesn't really say if it's like sci-fi, but judging by that, it looks like it's going to have sci-fi mechs. Uh, judging by the girls in the background, it might be some form of harem. So I don't know how to feel about that. If I had to guess... It might be a good series, depending. I mean, it looks good by the cover. In the story, it's about a mining town. Let's see. Let's read a little bit more into it. He's collecting rare crystals. Okay. One day, he gets wrapped up in a riot caused by his classmates. And he loses his way until he finds a lake deep under the grounds of mining ruins. There, he meets a mysterious girl with blue hair and red eyes. Oh, okay. It's that type of series. Okay. So, it's the type of series to where the main male character, he finds a girl that gives him some form of power, I'm assuming, and then he has his life changed from that day onward. Kind of like a, a standard shonen series that you normally see sometimes. So, if you like that type of thing, you might like Comet Lucifer, and I'm going to give it a shot just to see. I'm not going to judge it because I haven't really seen anything about it, but we'll see. Um... Let's see. The stage is set in another Japan as a banquet of diverse superhumans unfolds. In an imaginary age of gods about 20 years after the war. Okay, I want to just give that a shot. Just by the description alone being very unique, it's something I might like. I can already tell. Uh, and it's by Studio Bones. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. I want to definitely start that. Uh, I want to try that out. Um, Dance with Devils by Brain Base. Story revolves around Rika Tachibana, a female second year high school student who attends Shiko Academy in Shiko Town. <laughs> Shiko Academy in Shiko Town. <laughs> she enjoyed her school life while living with her mother, Maria, but one day that balance fell into ruin. The anime is a sort of the, the anime is a story of Rika being loved and being attracted to demons. Okay, so it's gonna be a reverse harem series. So Dance with Devils is gonna be like a reverse harem romance where the main female character is going to have the guys crushing after her. Hmm, kind of reminds me of um, the series Amnesia. I, I don't know how many of you probably have seen Amnesia. It was an anime series that came out a while ago, but that's kind of what this reminds me of, kind of. How, you know, the main female character is being loved by a bunch of demons around her, and it's a reverse harem. That's kind of what this is. So, mm, I might give it a shot because it doesn't seem like we're going to have much romance from what I'm hearing from this upcoming season. And you know how I feel about my romance. I love my romance, so I'll give Dance with Devils a try. Um, Diabolical Lovers More Blood. 
Okay, so I've seen the first season of Diabolical Lovers. It was an okay series. I did enjoy it. I won't deny that. But I know it's not perfect. But personally, if it does have, like, the length episodes of being, like, only 12 minutes long or so, like how it was in the original, I most likely am not going to review the second season because it. I, I just don't like reviewing little episodes majority of the time. It depends on the series if I do, but majority of the time there is not really a lot of content to really dive into and talk about, and I don't want to kind of stretch out a video to four to five minutes when there's really not much to talk about. You get my point. So I don't know. I might review Diabolical Lovers Season 2. I might not. It just depends on how long the, you know, episodes are, but I will probably sit down and watch it because I did watch Season 1. Um, Goku Sentoshi. In the previous century, humanity was attacked by an unprecedented disaster, okay? So humanity is almost at the verge of extinction. We haven't heard that one before. The impact in Vertia, the whole world was destroyed. However, humans acquired a new potential. The Gina Stella. That reminds me a lot of Black Bullet, in a way. If you know how, about Black Bullet and how I feel about that series, I think you understand my viewpoint on this series. It's by A1 Picture, A1 Pictures, and A1 Pictures is known for doing shonen series, like turning things into shonen, so if I had to place my bets, it's going to be similar to Dungeon Girl in a way, like not, you know, story-wise, I'm just saying in terms of the way it's probably presented as with the action, some of the storytelling, I'm going to assume if you like stuff like that with shonen and battle and maybe a main male character having a bunch of girls around him, you might like Gaku Sentoshi. I'll give it a shot, just to see. I mean, I like A1 Pictures. I mean, they, they have done some bad things as well, but I do like their studio majority of the time, so I'll give them a shot. Oh, oh, fucking yes! Garo! Garo! Oh, fuck yes, yo! Yeah, okay, so if that doesn't say enough, yes, I'm watching CC. Garo's coming out! Yo, he's coming out next season! Oh, I'm so hyped! Oh my god, that was such a good fucking season, man. So I, I remember the beginning stages of Garo did have its down points where it's just like, oh, but it got so fucking good at the, oh my god, I cannot wait. And Studio Mappa, it's by Studio fucking Mappa. I mean, Studio Mappa's done some really good stuff recently. I mean, if you've been following their track record of what they've been coming out with, I think you're going to like Garo. So, yeah, definitely given... Season 2 a watch, because I love Season 1. It was so fucking good. Okay, so, Gochimon? What? Gochimon's getting a Season 2? White Fox? Instant watch. Instant watch. I love, I love Gochimon. It was such a good season. Little fucking rabbit. Oh, that was so cute. That was so cute. That was so cute. Can't wait. That's going to be my Moe series of the season. Haikyuu Season... Oh. By production, I, Haikyuu, oh my god, I loved Haikyuu, it's coming out, it's been forever since I've talked and reviewed about Haikyuu, I remember I made a video a long time ago talking about when season 2 was announced, it was a long time ago, it's finally, oh my god, yes, yes, I love season 1, I heard there was a movie that came out, I don't know if I'm supposed to watch the movie or not, if anyone could clarify for me in the comments, please do that, because I don't know if I'm supposed to watch that movie that was released. I watched the entirety of season one, and I love season one. Oh, like, let's go, let's go, Dr. Go! Oh my god, dude, that, that, the theme, the music, the animation was just so good. So, season two's coming out, instant watch for me, because I love my sports, and Baby Steps most likely is ending, so that's going to be very depressing. And, I mean, hey, Haikyuu is what really got me going in the sports genre. I mean, Yo Mushi Pedal started it. But Haikyuu was just fucking great. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So please let me know. Do I need to watch that movie before Season 2 comes out? Because that's something I do want to watch if I have to watch it. Okay, so Heavy Object by J.C. Staff. The science fiction war action story revolves around ob uh, objects, powerful massive weapons that change the course of warfare, and elite object pilots. What? An odd elite girl named... Melina, Melina, Melinda, Melinda, yeah, okay, fuck, Melinda meets, a f I'm not fucking saying that shit, uh, a student who aims to become an object mechanic with a soldier in training, Havia, what, what is with the, just these names, damn it, 
on a snowy battlefield. So it's going to be a mech. It's a mech series. It's going to be science fiction, revolved around war. Probably going to have some form of romantic undertones with action. So if you like mechs, if you like Gundam, most likely Heavy Object will be pretty decent. It's by JC Staff. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, definitely. So, so far, the only things I'm really missing out on this season, from what I've read, is uh, Aikatsu 4, Season 4, maybe Brave Beats, Card Fight, and Diabolical Lover. So, that's like three or four things, but a lot I'm already reviewing. So, it already looks like this season's going to be packed. Um, okay, next one, Hidan no Aria. Okay, I haven't seen Season 1. I've heard it's a lot like Shakugan no Shana, and I love Shakugan no Shana. I've just never gotten around to watching Hidan no Aria. I heard it's similar in a way. And maybe one day I will get around to actually watching that series. But for now, I can't re review Season 2 because I haven't seen Season 1. So I'm going to have to skip that. Um, Hokuto no Ken. Ain't that fi uh, Fist of the North Star? Hokuto no Ken? Ain't that Fist of the North Star? The spinoff centers on a fun version of the Holy Emperor, Salfer, as he tries to find ways to become friends with Kinshiro. I think that is Fist of the North Star. He demonstrates his party techniques and sometimes plays with the Gosha side. Wh what? It's a spinoff series. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. It's a spinoff series. It doesn't say it's a season two. I'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll see. Maybe it might get me to watch Fist of the North Star if that is Fist of the North Star. Uh, J.K. Mishi. Uh, looks like some form of cooking show. No description. It's just a comedy. Uh, I don't know what to say. I I'll say I'll watch it. It's a comedy. But I don't know if I will or not. Okay, K, Return of Kings. Okay, so I watched K. I watched the original K. I haven't seen the movie that came out recently. But most likely, I'm going to watch K by myself. I'm probably not going to review K. I just want to watch it in my own time. Because I really enjoy K. And so, yeah. I'm probably not reviewing K. But I'm going to watch it. Uh, Kamisama Minarai. Himisu no Kokutama? What? Okay. Oriental Light and Magic. Let's see. Koku uh, Koko Tama are tiny gods born from the thoughts and feelings of objects that people use with great care. The fact that Kokutama uh, wears part of an egg they hatch out as underwear is proof that they are still... What? What? It's a kid's show. Probably skip him. Probably skip him. Unless it turns into a Monica. Uh, you know, I I'll watch out for what you guys say. I'll probably skip it. But depending on what you achieve it, say, if I have to watch it, I might give it a shot. It might be a Monica or a Gaku Gurashi. It, it, might, it might be something similar to that. But for now, I'm probably going to skip that. Um, Kido Senshi Gundam. Okay, it's a Gundam series by Studio Sunrise. I cannot watch it. haven't seen any Gundam, so sadly, i got to miss out on Gundam. Please forgive me on that. Ken, uh, Kendachi. Season 2. haven't seen the first season. I'm going to have to skip that by Toei Animation, so depending on how you feel about Toei Animation, you might like that, you might not. Um, Le Lance and... What? Okay, the battle action novel series revolves around Hyotaro... A young man who is a part of the last remaining order of knights in the 21st century, Knights of the World. As he fights as the mysterious Knight Lancer, he must hide his identity behind a mask. Hmm. Sounds cool. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, by Studio Go... Go... Kumi? Go Kumi? What? What the fuck? That's a weird studio name. I've never heard of that studio. Is that... Like, is this a new studio right here? Studio Go Kumi? Okay. Um... Noragami! Oh my god, damn. Yes! Go Noragami! Okay, Insta Watch, Insta Watch. If you haven't seen Noragami, just, just stop the fucking video and go watch season one. Like, just go fucking watch season one. Noragami is the shit. It is the shit. It's the hidden gem of last year. It's fucking amazing. It really is. Oh, Noragami season two. So hype for that. Yes, instant reviews. One Punch Man by Studio Madhouse. Uh, of course not. I uh, of course not. I'm not definitely going to watch One Punch Man. I haven't already put out my thoughts on the first episode last week. I definitely did not already do that. Obvious sarcasm is obvious. So, yes, jokes aside, I am reviewing One Punch Man. I love One Punch Man. It's a great manga. And I cannot wait to see how Studio Madhouse handles One Punch Man. Hopefully they put a lot of production into the series. But from what I've seen from the first episode, we don't really need to worry much about that. Okay, so, Oraga Ojo-sama. A very, very, very long, holy fuck, a long name. Um, it's a comedy, etchy, harem, romance, school. Ooh. 
Okay, I think majority of you know how I feel about harems and etchy and stuff like that. It's, see, I watch, you know, harems and stuff. It just depends on how it's presented, if I will review it or not. If it's not presented in a fashion that feels very different from other things I've seen, most likely I will drop it. It's by Silverlink, and Silverlink does do some good stuff. I'll give it a shot. I'll watch the first episode. If I like it, I'll review it. If I don't like it, well, you know what happened. So, there you go. Um, let's see. Osumatsu-san. The series follows the characters from the Osumatsu manga after they become adults. Okay, I haven't seen the series, so I, I can't watch that. Oh, uh, Seraph of the End Season 2 is coming out. Okay, so Se uh, Seraph of the End Season 2, definitely going to be reviewing that. Um, another Monogatari is coming? What the fuck, dude? This, this series keeps getting fucking sequels, prequels, pre-prequels, sequel sequels. It's just, like, holy shit, this series. Like, ah. Uh, there's so many fucking series of Monogatari. Like, okay, I, I've watched, you know, Baka Monogatari. I watched Nisei Monogatari. I watched Monogatari series second season. And I've seen the uh, Neko Monogatari. I, I, I've seen that one. I haven't seen any of the others. So I'm kind of like, yeah, and there's just so many fucking Monogatari anime. Like, shit. Ugh. I love the series, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love the series. Just like, damn it. There's just so much to the series. Like, people complain about fate being very hard to get into, but you look at Monogatari, there's just like... You're like, where the fuck do you begin? Thank God I know, but still. One of these days, I'll catch up to it and probably do some reviews on Monogatari, but for now, I'm going to watch that on my own time. Um, Peeping Life TV Season 1 with question marks? There's a question mark after Season 1, so they don't even know if it's Season 1. Probably gonna skip. Um, Pokemon X, Y, and Z gonna skip because I don't really watch the Pokemon anime. I like the games, but not a big fan of the anime. Uh, Rakudai Kishino Iyutan by Silverlink Studio. Wow, Silverlink's doing a lot of stuff this season. The school sword action story revolves around Magic Knights, modern magic users who fight with weapons converted from their souls. Sounds a lot like Soul Eater in a way. Iki Kurogane. Goes to a school for these magic knights, but he is the fell knight, or worst one, who is felling because he has no magic. Okay, I've heard this one before. Let's see. However, one day he is challenged to duel by Stella, a foreign princess, and the number one student in this. Okay, so it's going to be like a... It's an action fantasy romance school. It's probably going to be where the main male character, he's a failure. One day he fights the strongest, for instance, the girl that's probably in this picture, and he beats her in some way, and he gains a power, or she beats him, and she trains him. I, I think that's where the story is most likely going to go. It's based off of a light novel, judging by what it says, and there's no real episode count announced. I'll give it a shot. I mean, I like my romance, I like my fantasy, I like my action. I'll give it a shot. We'll see. Um, Sakurako san. The novel series revolves around Shotaro Tatewaki and Sakura Rako. Let's see, he's a normal high school student with a serious demeanor who likes to show off his girlfriend, Sakurako. What? Okay, so he likes to show off his girlfriend. He is an extra or she is an extraordinary beautiful woman in her mid-twenties from a rich family who loves beautiful bo Who loves beautiful bones. What the fuck? The two live in the city, and they get involved in various incidents regarding... Oh, let me go down. Various instances regarding bones. Okay, so they get involved involved in incidents that revolve around bones. It's a mystery series. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. It's a mystery series. I like that type of stuff. So, yeah, I'll watch that. Shingeki Kyojin? What? The little um, high school? Shingeki Attack on Titan is going to be coming out next season? Really? Well, I'm going to be putting reviews out on that. Get ready for that one. So, wow, I, I cannot believe that. I, I heard about this, but I didn't know it was coming so soon. Production IG is making that into an anime so soon. Okay, yeah, reviews will be coming out on that Attack on Titan little chibi series. Um, Shimai, oh, nope, skip. Let's see, uh, Fafnir or whatever, skipping. Uh, Starmu, Sea Stage, a Sea Station? There's some weird studios this season. The story starts with Yuta Hoshia enters Ayana Academy, a school focusing on, let's see. It's a music school uh, shoujo slice of life. Hmm. I like shoujo's, and I like my romance. Most likely it's gonna have some romance added into it. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. Subete ga Fni Naru? The story of the original Subete, let's see... 
It focuses around a research lab. It goes on a vacation held by the lab. And Moe, the da daughter's mentor, joins a group of the vacation. There, the two end up finding a corpse. It's a drama mystery seinen by A1 Pictures? What the fuck? It's a drama mystery seinen by A1 Pictures. A1 Pictures. Like, the fuck? A1 Pictures is known for making shonen, not... Saying it. What the fuck? Okay. Kind of fearful about that though, because A1 Pictures, they have a record when it comes to first seasons when it comes to rushing. And also they have a record when it comes to dumbing down the animation if they have a lot of projects. And they're already animating quite a few things. Like, you know, they're animating Fairy Tale and then, you know, also doing a couple other series from this season, which I already looked at. So them working on this. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It, it can go either way. It can go south or north to where it's good. But it might be a surprise hit or it could be a colossal failure. I, I don't know. I haven't really seen anyone pictures do a seinen. Maybe they have and I missed it and I don't remember it. But yeah, in recent times I don't think they have. Um, okay, Silverlink is doing another series? Taimado Gakuen? What the fuck, Silverlink? You're really pushing that budget this season. Action Echi Fantasy Harem. Okay, so obviously this series is probably going to be a cash grab for Silverlink to get some money. Probably for future projects. Probably for Fate Khalid Season 4 that comes out later on next year. That's probably what it's going to be. It's probably going to be used as a budget series. I'll give it a shot though just to see. Even though it's a fantasy Echi Harem stuff, I'll give it a shot just to see how it is done. Um, White Fox is doing another thing as well. Okay, so Uta Wari Rumono? Hmm. When I came to realize I was standing in the middle of a vast only plane I knew nothing of, I didn't know how I got there. And to add to that, I couldn't remember anything, not even my Ooh, okay, that sounds really good. I'm looking forward to that. I'll definitely watch that one. Valkyrie Drive. Part of the Valkyrie Drive project, which will include a console game. Okay, skipping that. I'm not a big fan of game adaptations. Usually they end pretty damn badly. Just tell me if it turns out good, Chibits. Um, World Trigger, gonna be watching that because I review the anime and that's gonna be the spinoff, so of course I'll be reviewing that World Trigger anime. Um, hmm. Let's see. Young Black Jack, a drama shonen. Hmm, Young Black Jack is a prequel to the Osamu Takuza, Ta, Ta, uh, Tezuka's classic manga series about a brilliant maverick, doctor who practices without a license. Third season of Yuri, okay. I'll probably watch Young Blackjack just to check it out. Uh, I'm going to have to skip uh, Yuri. Summer Leftovers, okay. TV Shorts. There's not much being left over. I thought Gate was being left over. I thought Gate was being... I don't see Gate. I thought Gate was getting 24 episodes, guys. I don't see it. Okay. Um, TV Shorts... Okay, Coca, I can't review that the second season. No, that doesn't look like for me. Doshietemo, no, probably not. Fushigi, probably gonna skip. Hakadol, probably gonna skip. What the fuck is that? Itoshi no Muko. The happy daily life of Muko. A not too bright <laughs> Akito dog and his owner, Komatsu san, the glass blower. I gotta watch that. I, I gotta fucking watch that. That sounds fucking hilarious. Uh, Kagiwani. Mysterious monsters that appear and attack in present time that people can only be played with by them in the extreme situation. Okay, Mystery Supernatural. Gonna watch that. That sounds fucking good. Um, Komari san, Comedy Sane and Slice of Life, Slice of Life Comedy. It's probably gonna be standard. Uh, probably not. Ooh, Kawaban. It's a horror series. A horror story will be animated using a technique called retro. Oh, ret uh, rotoscoping. I was going to say retroscoping. Rotoscoping. Animators will trace live action footage frame by frame. I'll watch that just for the sake of how it's trying to be different. I'll definitely watch it for the sake of that. Zombie Neko. Probably going to skip that. Mini Vanguard. Probably going to skip that. Miss Monochrome. Skipping that. Season 2. Neko. Going to skip that. Onsen Yosei. Hakunen Chan. Seinen Super Power Con. I'll give it a shot. And Mystery. I'll probably... I'll that doesn't look like it appealed to me. I'm going to skip that. Tante. And then Tekyu. Going to skip that. Movies. Okay. Let's see what the movies have to offer us. Um, Ajin. I heard about it's getting an anime series as well. Ajin's getting an anime series. Looking forward to that. Because Ajin is a pretty damn good manga. Cannot wait to see how it's handled. Even though it's going to be CGI. 
Ooh, Artipagio is getting a movie. Okay. I like that series. Needs a season two, by the way. Um, Murdoch going to skip. Cyborg 09 versus Doman. What the fuck? Um, Digimon Adventures movie. That's the first movie coming out. Dorado Raw 10. Okay, it's getting a movie. Oh, an extra episode airing at theaters. What the fuck? An extra episode of Dorado Raw? That's airing. Okay, probably very violent then. Girls and Panzer getting a movie. Uh, Go Princess skipping. Gaku Satsu. That looks fucking badass. That looks like some Metal Gear Solid shit right there. Harmony. Harmony! Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Let's see in the future. YouTube has been achieved. Thanks to Medieval Te Nano. Med e medical Nano. I say Medieval. Medical Nanotechnology. Hmm. There's a lot of good shit looking here. Dude, there looks like some really good shit from this. These movies. OVA specials. Fate. Oh, yeah. Fate OVA. Fate Cleed. IQ. Oh, Himoto's getting one. Kamisama. Nagato. Mmm. Owari Surf. Shokugeki. Strike the Blood's getting one. Wow. Tokyo Ghoul Pinto. What the fuck? Is... The story revolves around Shu Sukiyama and Shi Hori Meat. Shu Sukiyama and Shi? I'm watching that shit. It's a. It, wow. Okay. An OVA Yes. 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 Okay, so that's pretty much all from this season. So, how do you all feel about this anime season? If there's some things I said that I will skip, let me know in the comments if I should actually watch them or not. And yeah, this upcoming season looks like it's gonna be fucking packed. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> but, anime season and anime is fun. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.